music provision in the Scottish Borders is funded by Creative Scotland and really it's there to ensure that by the time young people leave primary school they've had a really positive and engaging musical experience. The music provision we've got in school at the moment consists of visiting specialists and also the class teachers um, following the school curriculum. Well, we work with the Big Drum Adventure chiefly because of Matt Clements and the rapport he has with young people. We've been working with Matt for about five years now. He provides lessons that are not really lessons, it's an adventure for the young people. My name's Matt Clements. I'm a performer, a musician and an educator. I work down in the Scottish Borders delivering the Big Drum Adventure Project. I work in a couple of schools a week and I work with four classes over the course of a term. In the last nine weeks, the kids get around about 15 to 20 hours of drumming tuition from me, mainly at upper primary level, but I sometimes teach younger ones and I also work at secondary and I work in a community level. I turn up with a load of really interesting, amazing percussion instruments that they've never seen before, that they've never played before. I take them through the process of learning how those instruments work or the techniques. So they're learning to move and shake on the kashi sheets. They're learning hand drumming, hand shapes, and they're using sticks and mallets. I also get them making their own sticks, so they get to take practice sticks home. I use music as a springboard for a child's interest in other wider learning. This can include maths or science, geography, physics, literacy, poetry. As a result of the Big Drum experience with Matt, I've noticed that some of the children, um, their listening's improved, their attention's improved, their ability to respond to non-verbal communications improved as well. Matt uses a great deal of that in his lessons, and I've adopted some of his, his techniques in my lessons as well, and they've worked really, really well with these children. And one thing that I've really noticed and I've really liked is the way that they have to do a teamwork, and Matt's really good at encouraging them to look at people to help them. Quite often... When they started, they were all, oh, I'm drumming on my bit and I'm doing it all by myself, and they weren't really aware of what was going on around them. But he's really encouraged them to have a look round and think about working with people and, and relying on other people to get things right. Across the room, I'll, I'll catch the eye of someone in the class and we'll just sort of have a moment like, yeah, we're both doing this and we're both learning, and we both got that right at the right moment. And it's really good fun being part of it in that way and not just sort of sitting back. As a teacher, you should always keep learning yourself as, as long as you possibly can. It's really important. I think it's important for the children to see you learning with them as well. Schools are busy and they, people have a lot thrown at them. Teachers have a great pressure on their schedule. I'm using the children's enthusiasm for my subject material, which allows their inquiry into all sorts of other areas. Obviously he has his big drum adventure and he has it all in his mind where he's going to go with it and what he's going to do with it. And we've just kind of come in and said, we love that idea, but by the way, we'd also like you to do this, that and the other. He's just been brilliant going, yep, let's do it, let's try it, let's give it a go. I think the children do respond differently in music lessons. and I've seen some of them who are, are a bit quieter and a bit more reticent perhaps in, in class and in the music environment with Matt, he tends to bring up that side of their personality. And I think they're perhaps more confident and more expressive when they're working in the big drum experience. Two roughly. Probably about a five. Five. Four or five. Six or seven. Eight. I think eight as well. Nine. I think I'm eight. I might be a bit more, but I think I'm eight. Yeah, I might be a bit less or more, but I think I'm eight. There are a few who are really, really taken to it. There's a couple who have sort of, I would say, maybe not quite so academic, but have just loved being able to pick up the patterns, have loved being maybe slightly better at doing the patterns than some others, and have liked the fact that they've then been put in a role where they lead a wee group, or, you know, they're referred to as the one that you watch if you're not quite sure where you are. The children are really excited about the final performance. It's going to be in the village hall at night time. But their parents, their grandparents, their friends will all be there watching them. And I think they're really keen to showcase their learning so far. 
our performances tend to be, and at Christmas time, tend to be quite traditional in, in nature, and I think this year's a, a big departure from that. And I think just the whole novelty of doing something that's going to be like a big show and we're going to have a huge audience and, and everybody's going to be doing it. It's, you know, there's not going to be like one person doing their solo part and or the lead character. It's just a whole involved everybody getting a chance and I think that's, I think that's going to be quite fantastic. I was surprised at how good the children were, but today gave me the chance to sort of take a step back and see the children perform on stage. And I was really surprised how, how competent they were, how confident they were, how well they worked with Matt and responded well to him. And it's just be, it was great to actually just take a step back and just see the children really, really enjoying themselves and, and learning too. I think because we're so confident and so comfortable doing it that the children weren't nervous at all they were just really really excited to do it quite a lot of parents made a point of coming up and saying afterwards what what a brilliant show it was obviously it's something really different to do at christmas they all looked like they were really enjoying it and what a fantastic sound they made They would absolutely love to do it again. I think there's, there's a real feeling of we've done it, we've achieved so much with it, and if we could keep it going, we absolutely would. He was um, only sort of exposed to music in a casual way. Um, he hasn't done any lessons um, particularly, but um, he's been drumming everywhere since it started. So drumming on the table and the lamps and the, trying to figure out what different sounds he can get from different things around the house. And the children have... Um, really enjoyed sort of learning about the different drums and things as well and the different instruments that I don't know anything about so they thought it's been great coming home tell me about something that only they know about and they can teach me. So. Amazing. It was so good and it was so good to be out there and just showing everyone what you're proud of. Drumming is one of these things that we can quite easily adapt it for the classroom in any case. We don't need lots of specialist equipment. It's nice to have but we can do drumming with pencils, with fingers, with homemade drumsticks. So drumming is something that I think we can, we can carry on in the curriculum even after Matt sadly goes on to, to work elsewhere. I believe children are born artists. The challenge is keeping that way. When you make music, there are changes in the brain that are incredibly useful in ways outside of just playing an instrument. It stimulates emotional centres, problem solving, linguistic, mathematical areas, the connections between the two sides of the brain. And this equips kids to succeed in lots and lots of different areas. And you can really see them develop and grow. So the feedback we get is hugely positive, especially from pupils and their parents, as well as class teachers. Parents note how engaged the young people are and they find it so much fun that they don't even know they're learning sometimes.